I'm Sim and today we have a lot of new products from Xiaomi so we will have a video about everything don't forget we will have video about Xiaomi Mix Fold 3 also Redmi K60 Ultra we will have the video about the biggest uh, Mi Pad 6 and also about Xiaomi Band 8 Pro don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you don't want to miss anything so let's go and this is Xiaomi Mix Fold 3 box. As you can see, we have some indications in this part. Uh, they include 12 GB for RAM, 256 GB for memory. And then I will show all the details for you guys. Inside the box, first we find this part that will separate your phone from the cover. Pin to open the finger trail, manual, USB Type-C cable, 67 watts fast charging. And they also include one cover. This cover is separated in two parts, as you can see they protect the front part and also the back part the back part you can check they have this one so you can let your phone stand later i will install and then you, i will show how it will be they are checking the real phone so i will use the mocking phone to show the details first and then later i will show the real one for you guys here in the right side you can see we have the uh, power button with the fingerprint scanner then the volume button and I need to tell you guys this phone is really really thin as you can see I bring my Xiaomi 13 Ultra so you can check the difference and you can check it. it's almost the same size of course it's not the same size because it's a foldable one but not so big difference right so it's very very comfortable for you to hold them one more time so you can check even the weight is not so different of course this one is a little bit different but if i'm not holding this one uh, and this one like one in each hand i think i would not notice the difference about the weight it's really comfortable to use and i need to mention because they also choose one very good material the hand will not slip so it's very comfortable and very safe to hold this you can see even if we turn it will not fall very easy and for the colors we have three colors we have this golden color we also have this one that is imitating the carbon fiber and another one that is black i will show in a minute for you guys and that one it's kind of a leather touching that one is really beautiful It's the one i like the most but please later leave in the comments which one you think is more attractive for you guys here on the top we have one speaker then infrared noise reduction microphone and then the sim card trail on the left side only the hinge and they said this hinge is made with a very durable uh, metal you can fold and unfold more than 50,000 times and without any problem here on the bottom there is another speaker the type c port and also the microphone so it means we have a stereo sound the back really really looks very elegant i'm not sure if you guys like like this kind of square thing or if you prefer this kind of round thing please leave in the comments which one do you think it's more elegant or more beautiful i just want to know which one do you guys like the most some people really hate this kind of round and big stuff so maybe this one will attract a lot of people and before the release of mix fold 3 a lot of people was thinking that they would include the same sensor as xiaomi 13 ultra but no unfortunately we have uh, not the same one so if you like quality for the camera xiaomi 13 ultra is still the best one from xiaomi but this not means this camera is bad later we will have a one comparison uh, from xiaomi 13 ultra and this one so you can check it by yourself for camera specs we have a main sensor with 50 megapixels wide 10 megapixels telephoto with 3.2 optical zoom 10 megapixels telephoto with 5 optical zoom then a 12 megapixels ultra wide if you install the case as you can see it will not protect the sides oh i didn't notice you can check this one the black one have a very thin line here and this one is totally metal like metal design it's really beautiful right i like this line on the side 
If you install the case, you need to paste it on your phone. But I didn't paste because first this is a mocking phone and this is not my phone. So just checking how it will be. It will protect very well this back part. And you can use this part to let your phone stand. So maybe if you want to watch one video, you can just let your phone like this. This is plastic, but the phone touch is really good. It's a little soft, I can say, and it also imitates some kind of leather. For the front display, we have a very gorgeous OLED 6.56 inches display corner with Gorilla Glass Vitus 2. 2600 nits picking max and 120 hertz for refresh rate here on the top you also have a 20 megapixel self camera and as you can see very very thin edges the colors are gorgeous and this screen is really really bright as you can see you will see all the contents, no matter if it's very light day or in the dark. For the inside screen, we have a one LTPO OLED 8.03 inches display, also with 120 hertz refresh rate. Crazy thing adds, you will have a very, very good screen for work. They say you can open and close this many times without broken. And many people are worried about the hinge but as you can see the hinge is not very visible of course if you check like different angles you you see it but if you put this one like just flat the way you usually normally use the hinge is not so visible here on the left corner we also have a 20 megapixel selfie and this is something that i was checking on the internet and somebody mentioned about it and after they say that i also agree for example this kind of phone is very interesting because different from fold 2 this one you can really let your phone in different angles for example if you want to leave it open like this you still can uh, let it like this the other one you need to let it uh, uh, open or close there was no midpoint but this one you really can let this one in any one angle you want so for example if you want to use your phone to make some kind of uh, video conference and use your back camera you can just let it like this on the table but for example maybe in the video conference you want to also uh, show yourself and then if you want to use the camera you need to flip the phone to use the self camera in this side so uh, for this purpose if they put the self camera in this side would be better and there is this and this is something i noticed i'm not sure if you can see here let me see if i can show some angle uh we can check one like notch it is one notch that it's not being used here so i'm not sure if in the future they will have some kind of camera here or if this is one camera and i maybe didn't notice it before so let's check but the official camera is in the left side for the phone specs, you can count with MIUI 14, Android 13, and as you can see, this model will come with 256 GB for memory and 12 GB for RAM. Just remind you guys, this is LPDDR5 UFS 4.0. You can also count with Snapdragon 8 Gen 2, so it's a beast of performance, and also 4,800 mAh battery capacity with 67 watts fast charging, and 50 watts wireless charging and this phone has nfc for image quality i will just show uh doing for you guys because i cannot uh, connect with uh, youtube right now but i guess you can check uh, more or less the details doing don't have like this very high quality videos but we can check the colors oh this is really really interesting you see so many camels this screen is really good. The colors is very vivid and the screen brightness is also good. Uh, the outside screen is 2600 uh, nits max and the inside one is 1300 nits max, but uh, this is also uh, bright enough. For the sound, let me try to raise the volume for you guys.
作品，千万。The song is really clear and very loud, and it's very well balanced. Even if we we cover this down part, we still can listen the up part. So. The sound is a plus. We finally got the Antutu test result, and as you can see, we got a very, very high score. But just to remind you guys, this phone is the phone that is just in the shop, so people will uh, use it the whole day. It will also be connected with the cable. So usually, this kind of uh, points is uh, much lower than if we test in our home when we open it. Uh, just to remind you guys, this uh, temperature gets a little high. Uh, when the test finished, it was around 44 uh, degrees. But uh, even though uh, the phone gets a little hot, you can see the, the performance was good. For camera options, we have a Pro, then Documents, then Video. In Video, you can record the maximum 8K 24 frames per second. But uh, in the self camera, we can only uh, record it in 1080p 60 frames per second. Then we have photo, portrait, night, and more. In more, we have 50 megapixels, panorama, short video, slow motion, time lapse, AI watermark, long exposure, super mode, direct mode, and edit. I will take some photos and videos and I'll come back with you guys soon. Nobody told me to settle Don't get around But there's something about you Something about you I like About you I like You're crazy for saying I should slow down But maybe I'm escaping The love we found uh, Now this is the self camera But the outside self camera uh, later I will check the inside self camera too, so we can compare the quality. And uh, just for the resolution, I think this is really great. As you can see, there is a lot of details. The colors are very vivid. I will walk a little so you can check the stabilization and also check how it reacts to the lights. I really like this self camera. Let's try the rear camera, but first let me try the self camera inside the phone. Uh, now we are checking the self camera, the inside self camera. And uh, uh, before I mentioned, there was a main self camera in the left corner, and uh, this is the real one. And the other one that I, I mentioned, we have one kind of notch there. Uh, that one is really just uh, like decoration, <laughs> I guess. Uh, we cannot use that one. And uh, for the camera quality, is still good, but things is not the same as the outside one. The outside one, the resolution seems better, the definition seems better, and this one, uh, I can see it's a little bit more blur. I'm not sure if it's because of the screen or not. Later, you guys can check uh, when I render it. So please leave in the comment. What do you think? If it, this is the same, not the same, right? I think even the color is not the same. I like the outside one. Let's test the rear camera. What do you think about Xiaomi Mix Fold 3? Don't forget to leave in the comments if you want me to test this phone with another phone. Probably we will have another kind of video. Uh, some is coming in the afternoon and he wants to make some camera tests. I'm waiting him to start to test the camera uh, against maybe Xiaomi 13 Ultra and also some other foldable phones. Who knows? If you like my content, don't forget to follow me also in my Instagram. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.